let me go back to the beginning and ask how you got involved in DICT uh, in the first place. Is it uh, uh, that gets uh, an actor or an actress involved in a project? Is it the book? There were three things. Uh, the first thing was that I wanted very badly to do a project that had uh, some meaning for me. This project has a lot of meaning for me. It was very important for me to do this picture, and the other actors who were on it had the same kind of sense of mission that I felt, something that uh, that we wanted very badly to be involved in. Have you done much uh, filming over the years in uh, foreign countries and uh, foreign studios? Yes. Do you, yes. find, do you find any great difference in, in working on, on foreign locales uh, rather than working here? Not as far as working conditions are concerned, no. Uh, I did uh, a film in London about uh, three years ago with uh, Jimmy Coburn, Mystery. And a couple of years before that I did a film in Rome. No, I don't, uh, I don't see much difference. It's got to be, for, for an actor and actress, it's got to be kind of eerie to step back into the past. It's like walking into a little, into a little time machine. It, it is, and uh, I think I have a stronger sense of time than most people. And it's not one that makes for happy living. I, I have a sense of time going, of time being lost, of uh, time passing all the time. Uh, and one of the things in acting that I recoup is time, because you reincarnate yourself. Uh, with, each, with each part, you're permitted to live out a life that you don't get a chance to and couldn't live out. You can't live out your fantasies. Only insane people, they say, live out their fantasies. And there is a certain amount of insanity that takes place when you do a part, because you accept that life and you live it. I have a very strong sense of having lived other lives within myself every time I do a part.